Hello friends, welcome to another Darktable tutorial. So today we'll learn how to remove shadows or adjust shadows using tone equalizer module instead of using shadows and highlights module. So uh, you can say it's an alternative, a better alternative to adjust um, and remove shadows um, from an image. We mainly use tone equalizer with filmic RGB. This module replaced the need for other tone mapping modules such as the base curve, shadows and highlights uh, and tone curve as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So right, first we search for tone equalizer module. Here it is. And we activate it. Right, so as you can see we have three different menus here. First we have simple and then we have advanced menu and then we have masking menu. So these two could be used um, simultaneously, uh, like we can adjust the masking first and we can then adjust um, under the advanced menu. Uh, we can do it later too. We will understand it better as we progress. So first let's go back to simple menu. So how all this line works? Well, um, all these lines indicate the um, brighter and uh, darker parts of the images. If you don't understand uh, which part is what. If we take our mouse cursor in the image uh, as we move, as you can see, the number is changing. For example, if you want to adjust the light and shadows here, uh, we should go back to point minus 9 and that should be around here. So if we adjust it, we'll see some changes happening here. So that's how it works. Similarly, uh, if you want to adjust here, uh, it indicates minus 2 and that should be around here and that that is here as you can see it is affecting so that's how we can adjust and as you already can see um, the darker areas is getting brighter um, so it's very simple actually um, you just uh, spend time you understand where you want to work on for example if you want to brighten this part or darken it indicates minus 3 so we adjust it here so friends that's how we can adjust um, the shadows and remove the shadows under this simple menu and then now we can move to the advanced option it also works similarly, however, uh, these parts actually indicate the brighter areas and these parts indicate the uh, darker areas. Right, so uh, these lines also indicate the different um, uh, areas of the image like uh, brighter and uh, darker part of the image. If we similarly move the uh, mouse cursor, as you can see, the number is changing and that's indicating where uh, it is. So if we want to work here, we have to adjust here so if we take it up that means we are brightening the image as you can see it's in the indicator and if we take it down we are actually darkening the image you always can spend time to adjust right and then masking here Preview the mask and choose the eliminator that gives you higher contrast between the areas to burn and areas to dodge. And then you have the option to preserve the details. You can choose any of them depending on your requirements. No effects is recommended if you only add contrast. Guided filter only affects global contrast and preserve local contrast. Average guided filter. It's geometric means it's no. Guided filter method EIGF or exposure independent guided filter expose independently and it smooths shadows and highlights same way. Filter diffusion. Here we can adjust the number of uh, filters we need to apply. And then we can adjust the smoothing diameter. Please note that if the denoise module is activated, a higher value of the smoothing diameter might cause a slower darkroom preview. And then we can adjust uh, age refinement and feathering. Mask post-processing. 
this is the mask histogram it spans the first and last deciles the center line indicates the average and orange bar appears at extreme if clipping occurs mask quantization if you set the value zero it disable the quantization higher values posterize the luminance mask to help the guiding to produce the smooth areas separately using high feathering values use this to slide the mask average exposure along the channels for better control of the exposure correction the magic wand will auto adjust the average exposure mask contrast compensation allows the spreading of exposure histogram over more channels for better control of exposure correction so uh, like i said before we can um, adjust the mask before adjusting that um, lines under the advanced menu or we can do it later so now i'm going to describe everything you need to know about uh, masking and also uh, you can actually um, use different part sets uh, if you don't want to go into the details we uh, you simply can go to the um, part sets you can click here and then you have some uh, per sets here. So by default this one is activated mask blending all purpose uh, However, you can try different other um, Modules it depends on the images. So for example uh, For this image it would probably be better to use relight fill in uh, per set So as you can see the image has changed quite a lot and we have got a better result However, if you are not satisfied with these per sets That's when you need to adjust manually so friends uh, this is quite useful i must say um, much better than shadows and highlights yes the shadows and highlights modules can work uh, well uh, for certain images and however if you want to produce even even better result then yes a tone equalizer would be a great choice there's one thing i also would like to uh, recommend when you use tone equalizer it is recommended that you use filmic rgb together uh, these two modules produce better result so friends, I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.